I've discovered my love of, um, of dance and research uh, and performance over, um, over many years. Um, for 30 years, I was a practicing attorney, a litigator for much of that time. And so there's a certain degree of performance associated with that. There's also a great deal of research associated with that. So um, I think my work as a lawyer really kind of rolled into um, my, uh, my career as a, performing, as a performing artist, because it all has to do with storytelling, and it all has to do with curiosity. And I like to think of my work as inviting audiences into my curiosity, and hopefully by their entering into my curiosity, they'll learn something or be introduced to perspectives that they didn't have before. Louise Madison lived from 1911 to 1971. She was born and grew up in North Philadelphia. She was, by all accounts, um, an extraordinary African-American woman tap, tap dancer. I became interested in her life as a result of being um, told a story by my um, tap dance teacher, mentor, and my dance partner, um, LeVon Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, the fastest taps in the business, Jermaine Ingram and LeVon Robinson. And LeVon said that when um, the show started, this woman hit the stage in white tails and white top hat and low heel shoes. And, and he, as he said, it, doing more dancing than the law allowed. He'd never seen a woman dance this way. He said he, she was dancing just like a man. So that was Louise Madison. And that was the first thing I'd heard about Louise Madison. And I was just captivated by not only his description of her, but I was mystified by why I hadn't heard more. And I wanted to know why it was that she didn't get more recognition, why we couldn't find any um, footage of her dancing. The people who, were, who would have given her attention um, didn't want to give that kind of attention to a woman who danced the way she, that she did, who was attired the way that she was. Uh, someone who um, really challenged uh, men in an art form that was dominated by men. Then I came across in 2019 this remarkable book written by uh, the scholar Sadia Hartman that talks about how African American women in the period between the end of Reconstruction, you know, following the Civil War, and the end of the 1930s used dance um, as a means of constructing um, these lives for themselves that went far beyond what the conventions are for African-American women. And so I began to see Louise not only as a person of interest for her, uh, her prowess as a dancer, but also as representative of the scores of African-American women who use the popular stage as a platform of resistance, as a place of defying, subverting the expectations and the stereotypes um, for African-American women. So as I began to look at Louise in this broader frame, that opened up this whole new area of interest. It made the, the archive relevant in this whole new way. <laughs>